The graph of a function f of x is shown below on two grids. We're going to sketch a to the left here. We're going to sketch that graph reflected over the x-axis. And then the graph to the right, we're going to reflect over the y-axis. So let's start with a little bit of information about our given graph, because it's the same picture in both of those grids right there. And what we need to recognize is our vertex is negative 2, 6. And we want to write the vertex form of this. Just a reminder that the vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So when we put this equation back into, we write the equation of the picture provided for us, here's what it's going to be. It's going to be y equals, well, it's going to be x minus a negative 2 squared plus 6. But minus a negative 2 is the same thing as plus 2. And if you think about the vertex here, change the sign, keep the sign. That works. But notice in our picture that our graph is also an upside down U-shaped curve, which means that we have a negative out in front of the function. So there's the equation of the given graph. And what we want to do, again on the graph to the left, is we want to reflect this over the x-axis. So we're going to take this graph and we're going to turn it upside down, so to speak. So what we did in geometry is the same thing that we can do here, which is to count. And one, two, three, four, five, six away from the x-axis. One, two, three, four, five, six away from the x-axis. And in fact, if we take a look here, the pattern on the graph is our normal pattern. We went one space to the right, one down. So we would go one space to the right and one up. But counting is probably easier for you. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This point here is one, two away from the x-axis. So one, two away from the axis, x-axis. And here this point is one, two, three away from the x-axis. So one, two, three on the other side. So lots of dots there. But look, we have the pattern. One space to the right, one up. So we can go one space to the left, one up. We went two spaces to the right and one, two, three, four up. So two spaces from the vertex, one, two, three, four. And three spaces to the right, nine up. So from the vertex, three spaces and nine up. And hopefully your picture is better than mine. But ultimately, I should have filled it in a few minutes ago, the vertex is negative 2, 6. Nope, negative 2, negative 6. Here it is, right there. Same idea over here to the right. Only this time, what we're going to uh, deal with is we're going to reflect over the y. Again, it's all about counting. And we'll start with the vertex. Here is our vertex. And then 1, 2 away from the y-axis. 1, 2 away from the y-axis. 
our vertex of, on this before we even get the picture graph is positive 2, positive 6. We're reflecting over the y-axis, so we're going to take this graph and we're going to reflect it over, so I'm flipping my hand, which you can't see on the video. But the pattern isn't going to change of the graph. It's going to still be an upside-down U-shaped graph. But this point is one away from the y-axis. This point is one away this point is going to remain. This point is one away from the y-axis. And you can still count. One, two, three. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the picture, and again, hopefully your picture is better than mine, is the same direction, the same orientation. It's just that we've reflected it over the y-axis this time.